What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Destination Bowling. My name is Mike and today we've driven two hours north from my hometown of Miami, Florida to beautiful Port St. Lucie. It's been a long time since I've been here. Uh, I was able to message the folks at this lovely bowling alley behind me. There we go. St. Lucie Lanes. Really looking forward to seeing what kind of conditions they got. Hopefully we could get a few good games in and see what else they got to offer. So stay tuned. Remember, hit that like, hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when I post these videos because I'm going to start posting them sporadically because I can. Stay tuned. Keep watching. And let's get to bowling. So we're getting ready to walk in. Looks, we're here as soon as they open. It is a Saturday morning in late May. Alrighty, guys. So check this place out. I. Dig the carpet. Wait until you see the carpet that's over there, closer to the lane. We're gonna walk through this really dope arcade area. Let me do a little zoom out. Nice, it's pretty arcade. Check out, look at the carpet check, bro. Look at the carpet. This carpet is so sick. I bet they turn the neon lights on at nighttime here. Hello. This looks like their snack area. And yo, like extreme hometown vibes. I just went to a diner called Rick's Diner. If you're in the Port St. Lucie area or if you're on your way to Disney and you want to stop somewhere to eat with your family, definitely check out Rick's. They got 48 lanes here. Oh man, it looks so good. I'm, I, feel, I feel a good game. I feel a good game coming. I feel a good game coming. As always, if you didn't bring your own equipment, they got balls. Try not to get nobody in the frame. This place is a little long, guys. Here's another look at their arcade area. Look at these lanes, so pretty. And also columns, columns in Florida, guys. I personally don't see many, especially like south of here. You don't see columns. See? You don't really see columns in these things, so it's gonna be interesting. They do got a pro shop here. I believe Brian is the gentleman that does the drilling and they're pretty busy. Let's check this out. Look at that. And guys, these guys are insanely busy. I literally walked in and they're drilling on a Saturday morning and it's a long weekend. If you're in the Port St. Lucie area, definitely come out Come out here and check the pro shop. You got, it's, what's the, Spare Me. Check out Spare Me Pro Shop over here at Port St. Lucie. I'll put the information of the phone number in the, in the right orientation when I walk outside. I love the freaking, I'm a nerd over the, carpets here it's so pretty <laughs> thank you guys perfect Charles Hutchinson knows us he likes us yeah. let me put the information here check these guys out Brian and Denise you guys want to be in the video if you want? You're good? This is Brian and Denise. These guys are the owners and operators of this awesome pro shop. And I don't know if you guys got anything to say to, to the world. We're open six days a week. Do a good job. We're here to please customers. Can't wait to see you. 
You heard him. Come to Port St. Lucie. Get your balls. Have a good afternoon, guys. Thank you so much. So yeah, here's the outside look. There's our logo, Spare Me, with their phone number. I love when alleys do this too. They have their like league commemorative stuff, 300s. This looks like a 300 kind of spot. So this is their bar area here. Let's see if this is open. It is. Check out the bar, nice little wraparound bar. Very, very spacious billiard hall room. Some more, oh, they got darts here too. That's pretty cool. I don't know what this is. Looks like Nintendo for adults. Got some Jenga action. They got the dart boards. Four tables here. And they got an indoor cornhole, that's fun. And then this would be the opposite side of the alley. Check out the locker game. Big fan of lockers. I like them. All right, so enough of me talking. I'm gonna go get a lane and hopefully at least hit my average, which recently has been just above 2.0. So let's get it. All right, everybody. Well, we are set up here on lane 10. Got my brother pulling with me. Really quick, we're gonna get into the balls that we brought. Don't know if you guys have seen this one just yet on the channel, but I got my Belmo spare ball. And I'm gonna start off by throwing old trusty right here, my personal GOAT, Infinite Physics. Also, this ball is being discontinued. So if you wanna get one, get it now. And then the all new, relatively new for myself too, only use this one maybe a game, is my Storm a IQ Ruby. Ball smells amazing, that berry splash. So we got three games set up here on lane 10. Hopefully we can do pretty well. And let's get to bowling, guys. Before we get bowling, I wanted to point out, so the front desk people put your names here, just so you know. They do have these older systems in place. And then check out this ball return. That ball return is really dope. Very different, check that out. Real quick guys, I wanted to point out, so the approach here is real wood and the lanes are synthetic. Kind of dig it. Um, from a personal note, me personally, normally at my home center, I'm normally using like a, an S10 pad, so it's like a sawtooth 10-8, but here I'm using an 8, so it's a good thing to keep in mind.
everybody. Well, end of game one, 165 to 138. Not horrible. First time at a brand new bowling alley. I will say getting the, getting the right pad for myself was a little difficult, but I think I got the hang of it. Also, this uh, ball return is a nice little challenge to work around, but let's see if we can do better in game two. Coming up next, uh, we got the hour, so we might have a third game, but for sure, game two coming up. Let's get it. time right now but 169 and I'll give my brother the benefit of the doubt with three strikes at the end he would have 159 so at least we're consistent in a new alley really want to come back here hopefully maybe catch a tournament or something they're actually gonna be holding a special Olympic event over here very soon so that's really neat all right guys so we were able to bowl a couple games. As you can see, we got packed up really, really fast. This place is great. Everybody here, so kind and polite. Just generally happy. Look forward to coming back here. I asked about some tournaments. Apparently they got two of them a month. So, Maybe get my feet wet a little back up here in Port St. Lucie. Also, randomly, there's a bait shop right in front of the bowling alley. So if you want to come bowling and then go fishing, you can do that. As always, guys, before we get back in the car and hit the road, I need you to hit them likes, hit the subscribe, hit the notification, and don't forget to get up get out and go bowling go bowling people go bowling on a saturday sunday morning monday morning it's good exercise i sweat my ass off have a wonderful weekend everybody stay safe peace out